Maria here and I am joined with Raul from Zimpler. Raul, welcome to Sigma America Summit. How are you finding the summit so far and what are the highlights? Thank you, for, first of all. Uh, I'm finding it really interesting. I'm blown away about how big the, the event is. Uh, I was not expecting uh, this huge of an event and a lot of people from, uh, from Europe as well, where we're from, which is uh, it's nice to get some people from back home. Uh, a lot of different type of uh, vendors as well, everything from uh, affiliates to to payment providers like us and uh, studios. So it, it's uh, it's a good place to meet people. Uh, so far, we've we've uh, been uh, having a good time meeting uh, people, networking, and so on. So looking forward to these days. Yes. So Simpler has also jumped on the Brazil train, and they have just opened their new offices in Brazil as well. What was the reason behind this? I know that you're focusing a little bit more on iGaming when it comes to Brazil. There's new regulations coming up, iGaming will be more regulated in Brazil. What was the reason behind you um, opening up and choosing Brazil as your next Latin American region to focus on? Uh, who doesn't want to be in Brazil? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's amazing. Uh, I just moved here myself uh, three months ago and I'm really loving it. Uh, everything from the business side, but also like personally, it's, it's amazing to be here. Uh, but from a business strategy standpoint, uh, it really makes sense for us to move in here now when there's uh, local regulations coming. Uh, I think that's where we can really add value to the, to the, pay, uh, to the gambling operators. Uh, being uh, very strong in, in AML and compliance, and when a, a market moves from gray to regulated, uh, there's always, or usually, there will be more uh, regulations when it comes to AML, compliance, affordability checks, these type of issues which are maybe not, not that uh, interesting when you have a Curacao license operating towards Brazil. So for, for us, this is a really good opportunity to move into the, to the Brazilian market and come with our know-how, our expertise, and. And, and, and the experience we have from being working on regulated markets in Europe. Uh, and I think our product, uh, product portfolio really works in that kind of environment with KYC services and uh, value added, just, not just moving money from A to B, but actually having value added services on top of that. And being here is obviously a better move if you want to navigate this market. How are you planning on navigating the regulatory hurdles and the regulatory landscape in general? So uh, w one of the reasons I'm here and not uh, maybe somebody else from the company is uh, because my background, I'm, uh, I was before I moved to this position, I was the head of legal for the Zimbler Group. So uh, part of our strategy here is to have somebody who can navigate the, the re regulatory landscape and understands that side as well as Zemper as a whole. Uh, so so that, that's uh, one of the main priorities we have right now is to really understand where is the regulation going, where, how can we position ourselves to be in a good position to, to uh, really get a good market share once the regulations are here. But, uh, but to be honest, you, you have to be, be very humble about the fact that you're not from Brazil. Uh, I'm, uh, I need to have very close contact with partners such as lawyers and just people that have the, the ear towards the ground yeah. uh, who, who understands what's happening. How are you finding it different from the European market? Because Latin American market obviously when it comes to payment providers is quite different. Um, what's your take on it? So we can also in the in the pay, within the payment service providers we can see that it's not a regulated market uh, and therefore the payment service providers have taken a, a maybe a more opportunistic uh, strategy uh, when working which of course is is the right thing to do at that point uh, th I think that's a big difference that we see that in uh, in our home market the payment service providers are maybe working more with AML KYC and these uh, these things. Um, I think another thing that I, we can bring that we're maybe not seeing as much on the market is a, uh, a thinking of the customer journey or the end user journey when they go on to the gambling site for the first time and they want to make that first deposit or register and deposit, making that experience as smooth as possible. Uh, my initial impression being here is that maybe Brazilians are not they don't mind so much having very many manual steps. Even going to 
you know, the grocery store buying a pair of jeans. I find myself standing there for 10, 15 minutes and just saying yeah. my CPF and this and that. Yeah. Uh, and uh, maybe it's a cultural thing. Uh, well, I think we had pretty much the same in Europe before, but then we, we launched pay and play, and, or we didn't pay, launch pay and play, but uh, the pay and play concept came into Europe and uh, the, the journey was much smoother. So it's basically a, a couple of uh, re manual steps and then you're, uh, then you're ready to go. And this is a perspective that we want to bring to the Brazilian market as well. Uh, as few steps as possible to be able to make that first deposit and start playing. And lastly, to close off, why should I, as a customer, use Zimpler and not another payment provider? You as a customer, the merchant, or you as the customer, the end user? The end user. The end user. Well, I think that goes back, back to, uh, to that smoothness. Uh, if, you, if you don't want to do uh, 16, we, we've done some... Uh, some counting on. On average, it seems to be about 16 different manual steps uh, to make it a, start an account and make a deposit. Uh, we want to bring that down to preferably one, but maybe two or three at this point. So CPF and maybe one more step, and then you're ready to go. Uh, I think that that's uh, that's a good customer experience that we want to provide. And then you're all facilitating the whole process. Yes, and behind the scenes, all the all the fancy stuff is happening. Us. Uh, collecting data about KYC, uh, the address, the CPF, and these things that we can provide to the gambling operator uh, so that they can comply with all their regulatory requirements if it's uh, Curaçao or Malta or soon to be in, in Brazil. So the, the end user has a smooth experience, the merchant can comply with their regulatory requirements, and I think everybody's happy at that point. Yes. Thank you so much for this interview. I hope you're enjoying your time here and I hope we'll see you again next year. Thank you. Definitely <laughs> will. <laughs> Thank you.